it's feedback gaming welcome back to my career series guys welcome 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 we've hit a point of stability we're doing really good with our corruption prestige legitimacy power projection could be better uh what else yeah we've uh, managed to have a good enough economy now so we can have the comfortable ability to expand I'm on the fence whether we should pay back more loans or whether we should try and advise, get hire some better advisors. I'm not sure. I think as we're doing right now, it's not doing too bad. I think we could maybe hire a Master of the Mint. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So this is pretty much the full cabinet, aside from the military guy, but we won't get a cheap one unless we get it through an event. Um, so, this is pretty much as good as it's going to get for now. I think all of these will go to the colonies. So, I think next thing is do when we grab these two, we'll grab these two, and then we'll grab those three, and then we'll have the full control. Actually, now think about it. Let's go, is there a colonial map mode? I think there is, isn't there? Colonial Australia. Ah, so all of this is Australia too. So look, is there a way that I can look at the development? This one's a good one. 13 development. Five, 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 five. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. I guess we probably would be better off moving here, maybe. I guess we should always try and go for the ones that have got the most development, shouldn't we? So we should go for New Zealand next, shouldn't we? I guess I'm kind of being a bit border gory here and trying to avoid... Having a disfragmented Australia. But then again, we've got French Australia to the north of us, haven't we? Lose admin or lose stability? Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> That's kind of annoying. Just as we get our first vassal, we have to deal with that. 100% still. Yep. We can get a few more of those and we'll get an extra merchant, which will be nice. Alright, let's look at our trade fleet. Is it as optimal as it should be? No, we could go here. So, yet again, the next objective will be to try and take another chunk out of Japan, which is going to be possible. I need to go for the next admin tech, though. Yeah, when we get that one, we'll ask the merchants for some free ships, and then we'll be able to engage the ties. Which, more than likely, these are probably not good good relations, are they, maybe? I don't know. Oh, the aggressive expansion is crazy. Oh, I remember now, because that that's what caused the colonial war here, wasn't it? The, the coalition war. Uh, you guys here. You guys here. Yep, 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 yep. Go here. Yep. That's good. Alright, we can catch up on the admin, because we're going to go for economic ideas to sort out that interest problem, and also sort out the um, inflation issues. Ooh, I didn't realise, but these are connected. I never realised that. It's so weird how these are connected, but these two are not. What? Um, there we go. I love it when you get to the stage where you're so unbelievably rich, you can have a navy, you don't need to mothball it. That is true, the true enlightenment, the true moment of an EU4 game. Asian musketeer and a new fort. Which is, it's a little bit scary that seeing another fort level, because that means we're going to have to deal with more forts as well. Yeep. All right, any way that we can increase... Oh, do I really want to do that? We've just sorted those guys out too. Probably not. Parallel authority. Merchant, estate. So we're either gonna lose tax or we're gonna lose trade. So we're gonna go with the trade. We could make a generous donation, but I don't wanna. 
All right, so we need to think who we're going to attack next. We can't attack you because you're allied with our most heinous of enemies. To be th to be thankful, actually, if we did declare war on you, we won't be able to hold this straight because we'd have to hold both sides, wouldn't we? It's currently passable. The narrow strait access to the Straits of Johor connects the province of Bataan. Narrow straits can be crossed with allies without the use of transport. Any enemy fleets, however, block the crossing unless both sides are under allied control. Oh, right, okay. Oh, so I can block this. Now I think about it, that's actually probably going to be a smart idea. Oh, man, that could be really good, because eh? we could vassalize you. Oh, shit, maybe I want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I actually really want to do that. That's a really good idea. All right. So you guys move here. We're going to declare war on you. Because this is a perfect chance because we get to split these guys in half, don't we? Actually, I don't think vassalizing you is going to be possible. You've got a lot of land, haven't you? So I guess we could just annex all of this land in the main part of Malacca. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no! Oh, no. AI is pretty smart. It's gone for the land with the most development, too. Damn. Gone for a good spot there, because they've wet... That's the, that's the province that connects the two islands. I guess we could grab those two, maybe. Damn. You shoo. Gain an extra 50 prestige. That's huge. We don't want to spend any more admin. The extra stability is nice. So what is that worth? That's worth 156 admin. Well, we gain a lot of prestige. Yeah, we'll take the prestige. It's scary, because that event is so good. Eh? It makes me really nervous. Oh, he's an embezzler. Are you for real? Such a shame, that. Really, really looking forward to our heir, even though he's really old. That is an old heir. Ooh. I'm not happy with the amount of trade power we've got in this region. It's not enough. So we moved our dudes over in here, didn't we? Yep. Uh, we're repairing up here. There's a shipyard here. Um, we'll unmothball you. It's probably going to take a dent in our army size, but that's okay. Now think about it, we have to worry about this straight, don't we, as well? Do we need to worry about this straight? Yeah, we do. So we'll just put some ships there, won't we? As far as we're aware, they've increased the size of that fleet, haven't they? So we need to get this, and then get some more galleons, haven't we? This will give them influence, right? No? Oh, it loses loyalty. Oh, that's fine then, that's okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. I'm happy with that. Um, that's fine. So we're making some really classy ships there. Which is going to take a few years. Eep. In that case, we'll, we'll use that time to build a spy network. Okay, where do I send my dude next? So we were going to concentrate on this area, weren't we? So let's do it. Go here. If we're really, really quick, we might be able to grab all of this, because we can grab one, two, three, and then on the next wave, those three. So it looks like they'll probably get two. They've gone for a good province. I give them that, though. That's the perfect one, because that connects the two. If, if On hindsight, if I'd known, I probably would have gone for that first two. All right, five speed. Let's do it. Tariffs for wool increase. Three monarch points or extra tariffs. What's our relations like? 
the liberty desire tariffs submission authority okay. actually it would have been better ah i don't think that was a good choice actually now i think about it no i don't think that was the best i should have took the monic points I'm just trying to make these colonies actually generate some revenue, because otherwise it's going to be pointless, isn't it? Don't generate revenue. I mean, generate a little bit of money to give me in the long run, put it that way. Are we harmonizing? 99%. Nice. Not convert anyone yet. Harmonizing is strong. Colonization against France. A rush of colonists. Ooh, nice. I lost a claim, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the economic ideas. So weird not to concentrate on military ideas, that's such a weird one for me. I'm not used to that. California has detected a spy. That was one area, you know, we were gonna focus on California. Spanish Empire. Ooh, hello, what's this? La Plata? Oh, this is independent. This was once, I'm guessing, English. Yep, this was English and it's declared independence. A free La Plata. I never understood why it's called La Plata and not Argentina. Does anyone know that explanation? Drop us a comment, guys. I'd like to know that. It's probably something I could Google, but, you know... Seven loans. Nice. That income is beautiful. Harmonizing of the Demaric religions. Extra harmony. Awesome. We can do that one, but we can't. But for the most part, we've, we've got so many religions we've harmonized. The circulation of hostile publications. Oh, Nelly. These are probably regions where I already have full control over anyway, aren't they? No, they're not. We'll do that then. If we were going to rush printing press... We could do that. It's probably worth it too. Because we are playing catch-up on tech as well. So let's do that. Um, actually, no. We'll wait until we need an upgrade for our tech. And then we'll do that. Yeah, we'll wait first. Okay, so this army's here. Uh, where's the other army? Oh god, this, this horse is over here. What? Alright, you need to come back. Oh, that, you're done. Okay, well, actually, now I think about it, we'll just wait for these to finish. Yeah, you... Go here. Watch these rise up. Watch this. Rise up just before finishing. Oh, no, no, no. I took it back. Nope, never happened. If you think about it, the more I increase the tariffs for my colonial nation, the less army they can make. So, I guess I want a vassal that's going to be, f for the most part, independent, don't I? So, I guess I probably shouldn't adjust that anymore, no? No. I think we probably leave behind two of you. Yeah, leave you there, and then we can split that off between these two provinces. Yep. Ah, no! Oh, hang on, is that me? No, it's not. That's him, isn't it? That's France. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. Um, hang on. No, we don't. We're not going to leave any behind. We don't need to leave 4,000 per province. That's crazy high. That's good. All right, now you can make your way back home now. Go back here. It feels nice to try and have to micro the fleets individually. Before, I'm so used to having a super fleet and having not overseas provinces. It's nice to play around with colo the colonial game again. I don't know, I find it quite fun. Um, it's, a, it's a part of the game that I never used to really enjoy, but I'm actually really enjoying this campaign. Uh, it's because they promised their independence, isn't it? That's not going to break away until we can, can humiliate them in a war, isn't it? Yep. So, when it comes down to sieging provinces, I don't actually know 
how much... It should say in this menu, shouldn't it? So how many artillery do we need? Because we need a lot. That's for sure. There's no doubt about that. We need a lot of artillery. Um, where is it? Not one of these, is it? No, no, no. No, no. I thought it would have been here. I thought it would show me how many artillery I need to get the bonus, but I don't know what the the bonus is. Combo is only 32. Alright, that's a lot lower than I thought. Alright. Wait for my army to come back. Wait for those finished ships to finish off. Still making money, even though we've we've not mothballing any of our fleet. That costs 500 to upgrade that. I'm actually kind of tempted to do that, you know. Because we're going to have a nice fleet, haven't we? I didn't even check what that event did. Whoops. Uh, so we're going to look at you. Rivals. 21 big ships. Shit. Alright. We engage them at the right time too, we'll definitely have the advantage. I think I feel like on land the AI is really very, very smart, but on sea there are they make some silly mistakes. So if there's gonna be opportunity to take advantage of the AI, it will be at sea. Uh tribunal criminals. Got a free port here. Gives a tiny amount of trade power. Nah, no, fuck that. Oh, nice. Oh, please. Oh, I love my plus three. I love my plus three. Never looked at prosperity in a while. God, Ming. Ming, so strong. It's interesting to see where all the devastation is. It gives you an idea of where the wars are being fought. See the area of Poland, Lithuania being shrunk. Yep, it's been eaten up. This area of Persia. I imagine that Persia's maybe losing to wars to Russia, maybe? Maybe. I really like to see the end of this game, like Ming getting beaten up by a Western power. That would be make my that would make my day. Oh, hang on a sec, there's two here. I thought I thought it was one, two, three, but there's a fourth one there. Lost a claim. Oh, that's fine. Have you not made any more colonies? Your idea was to be a colonial overlord and spread my empire. God damn it, brah. Bruh. Alright, so big ships. Making some more big ones. If we're gonna upgrade our army fully, be 962 ducats. And then there's another army here, isn't there? So a Karak. How does that come into play? How technologically advanced is a Karak? I don't actually know. It doesn't show a list, does it? Is it under tech? Oh god, that's two tech behind. I feel like I want to upgrade it. Alright, let's do it. And then to upgrade this fleet. Let's do it. There you go. State of the art fleet now. And for the most part, the largest in, in the Pacific. Oh my god, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live to regret that. I guess we can push them to maybe like 30. Any more than that, we're pushing our luck, aren't we? Still have over 50%. Tiny amount for Kahar. Kahar. Alright. Navy, position yourself here. Almost repaired up. Local traders demand aids now. 
I've, I've had that event fire way too many times. That's enough. So, I'm going to go with 8. And then we'll go for a full 30 stack. Ah, oh, 28 stack of infantry. Production is flawed. I lose the prestige. We've got lots of excess, so why not? Religious, yep. Oh, damn, nice events. So the question's going to be right now where we engage, isn't it? Ah, uh, go for Admiral. He sucks. It's not good. He's decent, though. Mayon O. Oh, yeah. So, we need to engage their fleet. We need to know where their fleet is first. Five big ships there. Preferably want to engage their whole trade fleet and just wipe it. Let's raise the maintenance. Every time I see that, I get a little bit nervous. Ah, ah! They're all so bad. I can't even believe it. We're rolling absolutely ter terrible admir admirals. Oh, they're horrifically bad. Okay, so they are on 22, 23. You're 22 too. But we can wipe you just based on numbers. I wonder how big their army is. 33,000 infantry, 3,000 cav, 18,000 cannons. That's a lot of cannon. Alright, we'll raise the forts. Anywhere else do you have access? Not really. I'm going to presume that your main army is here and we can just wipe it willy-nilly in one go. Let's have a look at forts. Forts, fort level. There's one here and there's one here. Let's have a look at the development. Ooh, 21. There's no doubt about it. We're going to try and take as much as we can in one swoop. And if we can beat you guys up as well, that would be the icing on the cake. I'm just kind of concerned that this straight's not going to be blocked. So the way it works is... The re so what I'm getting confused about is they made a recent change. So... For to block this straight, you can't just put a ship here. You have to control one side, occupy one side, right? Before, it didn't used to be that way. If you blocked it, you can completely block it. So in this scenario, because we have control of one side, we can block it. Where it wouldn't be the case if we controlled both. Is that right? Is that right? I don't, I'm not, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. All right. So harmonization, that's good. That's fine. We've got our decent sized army. I'm really happy with. Um, we're making our colonies. That's fine. I'm trying to think of anything else that could be an issue. These navies there. It's moving away. Moves away on the 28th. I'll wait for it to come back around. This is this is literally exploit territory. I'm not even joking. This is this is quote unquote. This is exploitation of the AI. And I actually feel like as well. I want to upgrade you to. I'm going to have to take another loan for that. These loans will pay for themselves, particularly the trade ships too. Protect trade. That's a huge amount of trade we're moving down. Alright, that's good. Alright, we're still making money, which is still blowing my mind. Eventually, we're going to set... When we've got full trade power in this region, uncontested, I mean, when Pasai is literally down to less than... Well, when we've got more than 50%, then I'll move my node to here, and then we'll divert all trade to this region. We might still collect in Nippon as well, just so we're getting the fruits of our capital too. All right, so they're in the good position. That's fine. I realize we're going to control this one too. I'm going to wait for them to come back around, then we're going to declare war. Pirate ship. Oh. What? Karaks can pirate? I never knew that. I never knew that. Aha! Alright, time to go to war. Bring in my ally. Yeah, why not? Alright, so that's a wipe. Then we engage their trade fleet, which they've got a nice Karak too. So that, uh, yeah, nice two-decker. Oh! They've got a ship that's a higher tech than me. Interesting. 
Okay, let's go down to three speed. For the most part, that should be uncontested, right? We should wipe them. Hopefully, we'll take out the big ship. Yes, we did. We're going to go here. And this is blocked. Interesting. Blocked for, for them, but not me, right? I, I should have checked if that was mothballed. Where's the garrison? Does it say the garrison 280? Yeah, that was mothballed, and it's just been unmothballed. Should have kept my eye on that. This will siege down pretty quick. Um... Political refugees gain legitimacy. We'll have the extra production, thank you. Some nice events are being a tributary of. <gasps> what? He made it across. Okay, this is a positive and kind of in a weird way, maybe a. Yeah, maybe this is we can we can spin this on its head and make it a positive. Maybe we can. Oh, because he's the trade leader. Oh, I know what we should do. We should move our fleet to their mainland and start occupying them. Yep, that's what we should do. We're still making money on the back of this. I can't even believe it. All right, move our army here. And then we're going to occupy their mainland. 60 foot boats. Damn. So we don't even need this fleet here now, I think about it, do we? And, yep. Um, oh, they're engaging us. Oh, then we're moving over there. Oh, this is going to be risky because we're going to take some damage there. This guy is a 2-0 and Isa's a 0-1. We took a few hits there. We probably lost a few trade ships. Oh, we're getting absolutely murked here. And is it because their boats are more higher tech than us? Heavy ship two decker. I think we're getting beaten up here. I'm curious to see when this battle's over what we've lost. Twelve big ships. They they rule us on the sea, and I think it's down to the fact that they've got the better ship tech, haven't they? Wow, I never envisioned that. So now the advantage that we had before has been lost. The advantage that we had before was the 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 naval advantage, and now we've lost that. Fuck. We need to move here and try and siege this down. Is that the war goal? Oh, this is the war goal. We can't even get there, though. Wow, I did not foresee that. So the next one is 22. And at what are they at? 23. Wow. I can't, I, I'm not, I can't even grasp how they've managed to be so far ahead on tech. Because this, this lead that they've had, they've had it for a very, very, very long time. <sighs> He's moving over again. We have to go for these forts. Is there a dude that we can go for? Ah, fort defense. Excellent. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, and can we maybe give that to the nobility? Yep. I'm not sure if we make the. Oh no, we can't do that because the it's already really high. That the uh, influence. They wiped all of our galleys, took out a portion of the cor cor cogs, and half of our heavy boats. Wow. Having that technological advantage at sea is massive. I don't know where the main fleet was. That's what threw me off as well. Like, where was their main fleet when that combat was happening? I have no clue. It's there again. Oh, you so spooky, dude. So there's 14 cannons, and there's not a siege guy. He's a 4-5 general, too. Uh no, 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 no. We'll siege that really quickly too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there was a battle happening, but it was so it was the battle that happened and ended so quickly. And fleets are mothballed. I'm aware of those was fleets. There's two galleons up here, but are they even going to make any difference? In all fairness, we if we send them down here, 
we're kind of just saying we want to lose them, aren't we? Sale of titles. Oh, we just lost our stability. Should we get it back? Yeah, why not? Money's not much of a problem right now, anywho. We'll wait until we have to pull out of here, and then we'll move maybe here. It's a lot of rebels there. Alright, move out. We'll decimate them there. Oh my god, didn't sink a single ship. God damn. Alright, where are you going? We'll move back here to repair. 49%. 62. Ah, oh, damn, so unlucky. We can't win them at... That general's way too good. He's a 4-5. He's, he's top of his class. We can't beat that. So he's going to move here now. And if he if they were smart and blockaded here, they could have they could intercept my army here too. Uh, oh, what? So unlucky. We need to make them peace out as soon as we can. Ah, uh, man. I don't know where these guys have been getting the money from. I'm assuming that all their money's from here and they're just getting these really, really expensive advisors. But then again, if you think about it, if we spend the 10 years trying to tech up and paying for expensive advisors, we could catch up on them pretty easy, I think. Where are you going, dude? Ah, oh, he's on a suicide mission. God bless you. Rest in peace, pepperonis. Oh, he's 23 too. Oh, shit. Do we want to help out our buddies? Do we want to help out our pals? I think if we siege this down, we're going to get a big chunk of war score. I'll take the attrition, I don't mind. Where are you going, bro? Please don't run away. No, we need you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we should peace out. <laughs> I can't even believe we're getting money from them as well. Money and land. Um, is there anything here of value? Not really. Hundred and seventeen percent. That's strange. It's like so close. Ah, it's a shame getting trade from... Oh, actually, maybe we could not ask for money. No. It's not enough war score, is it? You annoying pest. Yeah, we have to bail at this point. Um, Malacca does not want it. Oh, right, okay. Oh, right, they've got claims on this. So I, the best thing to do would be to give it to my... So why is it... It's annoying that I can't flip it back to... Oh, I can flip it back to me. Do you want... These? Oh, why not, dude? Well, could I take it and then give it to them? I could take it and then give it back to them, couldn't I? Alright, war's over. A war that I'm glad to see end. Proves that we are not the master of the seas that we first thought we were. Hmm. Well, we will be very humbled by that defeat because um, we have learned new things. Okay, can I give this land to my vassals? 
surely I, I, I can just force them to absorb that land, can I? I could just say, this is yours. Terra... Terra Ganu? Yes. Uh, Kelan? Kel, 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 Kel. Oh, it might be nice if these were in order, wouldn't it? Kelanatan. And, uh, Perak. What? We'll grant them their claim. I never knew you could even do that. Perak. Reduces the liberty desire. I wonder if it reduces it to a level where they don't hate me now. Well, they still hate me, but just hate me a little bit less than they did before. Alright. Mothball. So, if there's anything we've learned from that, is we really need to play catch-up. So let's spread out our tech. Improve relations again. Could potentially gain an extra 20 points. We've already got cores here, so this should be okay. Yeah, they have. I want to finish this mission, because we've been spending ages on this mission. Yeah, so... Ah, uh, maybe not. No, nah, we'll not do that one. Because I, I realize we're going to be waiting way too long, aren't we? Before we can go ahead with the institution. So next time we have an opportunity to tech up, we're going to go for the institution. We're going to get a bunch of loans and do it. Born Attentions with Jack. SJ, is it SJ? S-A-I-K. There we go. Oh, okay, cool. Well, fair enough. We are eventually going to enact you at, at some point. The Enlightenment has arrived. Another possibility for me to fall back technologically. Yep. Go here. There you go. Uh, Age of Absolution is about to end. Are they getting rebel problems here? No, because it's cord. Uh, Malacca, max relations. Maintain. We desperately need a war with Japan. Uh, Japan would have been a war we would have been able to fought to. You know, these guys would have been more tricky because they've got good tech. I can't believe how far we fell back on tech. When we spread out to colonize the center, we neglected monarch points, but we did expand very fast too. I realize we're getting a lot of pirates here. Can we take our big fleet here and say hunt pirates? Uh, it has to be a... Um, I thought you could do... I, maybe you can use those as escorts as well. Maybe I'm not sure. I wonder how much we're losing here from pirateers. Pirateers? Japan. Thailand. Thailand. Well, our enemies. Who would have thought, eh? Enemies are out to get us. Glory to us. Five prestige. Raising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Urbanization. Oh, it's an event that gives me lots of goodies. I can't say no to that. Treaty of... Oh, Colonial Australia. Oh, it gives a shit. They're going to really hate us now, right? No? No, it's because we're not Christians, it doesn't matter. Jesus, that's a big stack. They're very, very aggressive. 9,000. Doesn't the size of the colonists reduce the, 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 the development? No, it doesn't. Merchants, by the way, have got a looming disaster. I've not been paying attention to that. We need a 10% reduction. This will happen on... Noble privileges? No. Conquer. Let's drop the speed down to... Speed 2. I whammy. 
Yeah, we need to do that. Plus eight, Ming. Oh, it boosts relations with Ming. Oh, we really should do that. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Got a decent queen. And then boost relations. Yeah, that's done. Uh, okay, looming disaster. They will take control on the 1st of July, 1704. 1704. No, we need to do something about that. Otherwise, they are going to seize full control. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Fuck. Big stack to deal with. Nothing we can do. We have to just gradually move troops over. I don't really want to make mercs. Oh, I split them off, but I didn't turn them off. Mothballing. It's going to take ages to move these guys over. That'll do. Alright. Pains me, but we're going to have to do that. And well, then we can't revoke this province. My attrition at sea, uh, yeah, yeah. Ye. Secrets of our alliance. Ah, fuck. We need to we need to wait in a province for a few days because we're going to end up losing attrition here. Can you guys go here, please, for a day? We'll wait a few months. All right. Okay. Do your thing again. Am I losing my mind? Have they just disappeared? Am I... Am I going crazy? And I don't have to revoke! What just happened? I don't even know what's happening anymore! <laughs> what, what, what's happening? Alright, okay, stop. Stop. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, a decent general died. Shit. Great dude, we'll, we'll use him for the time being, then we'll switch out to a better guy, a Libelea. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, you can come back now. Alright, so there's anything we need to work on right now, it's taking our way up. We've got seven loans. I can't believe it as well, we spent so much money on updating our fleet too. Colonize the thrills. The the cothrills? Cothrills? Sure. We can make one dude for that. Wow, if there's anything about that northern province in New Zealand, those Maori are pretty aggressive. Ah, shit, we're going to accept an institution, weren't we? Fuck. Um, okay, okay, let's do that now. How much money do we need? A thousand. Trying to get used to the colours here. So that's Korea. No, that's Colonial Australia. That's Colonial France Australia. That's Korea. The colours are so similar. Shut up.
Okay, it is time to hire a better trader. And we can't do that. Actually, we could... No, we can't hire you either. No. our main fleet which is not as glorious as it once was I thought we had the uh, the biggest well we did have the biggest fleet in the Pacific but it wasn't the strongest they've got some crazy awesome what am I call it didn't they some really really high-tech two-story battleships there's a few colonists on their way We could spend this money to make our army bigger, but then again, it's just going to be sitting around and doing nothing. Oh, thank goodness. Well, wow, that's nice. Thank you, dude. This is a, what they call it, guy, isn't it? A blessing from the gods. Yep, we're going to hire a level 2 military dude, because we are behind on military. We're using our money really wisely here, because we need to spend on building our tech up. Okay, we need a bigger fleet. Where's the boats? Looming disaster, what now? Plutonic coup. This platonic coup will happen on 1712. Don't need to worry about it. Alright, that's good. We can uh, do this colony now. Show Elan. 15% morale boost, nice. Two of a kind. Oh, wow, I got a free statesman that I don't need. There you go, like, guys. I, I begged. I begged so hard. I begged and I requested and I, I pleaded. I was like, please give me some cheaper advisors. And what do you know? The gods of EU4 gave me those advisors. Alright, so estates. This used to be a merchant territory, but it isn't anymore. Can't actually see the icons anymore. Oh, there is. Oh, maybe that's like the icon's gone now. Oh, it's not a center of trade anymore. Okay. Fair enough. No, we can't do that one yet. When do we get some more states? God damn, man. That minus 10% trade efficiency is painful. Our economy is almost like two-thirds based on trade. Our colony has been struck with Roman fever. Boo. Alright, I realise this has been a, a super, super, super long episode. Alright guys, so I'm going to round it up here, wrap it up here, and then we'll uh, see you on the next one. Have a good one guys, bye bye.